All right, in this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to free seized valves. And it's actually pretty simple. I'll flip this over right here. You can see these are the valve springs. And all you wanna do is just push down on them to, with your hands, which could be very difficult in the beginning, especially if they're seized. So I could barely even push down on mine at all. So, and the reason for that is because they were rusty, number one, and so the first thing I did is cleaned it with a wire brush a little bit, just the surface, not crazy, but just the, these edges are where it's gonna wanna seize and get stuck in. So that lip right there is where you wanna clean around with the wire brush, cause that's where the valve seals and the, the rust could be sticking to that valve. So the first step you're gonna wanna do is get a type of oil, any type, just, it could be a can like this, or it could be, actual oil right here either one as long as it's a type of oil and what you want to do is after you get this cleaned you wipe it down with the rag get all the rust out that you can and just put a little oil in there that's all you need just to get around the valve seats and now what you're going to want to do is flip this over you're going to want to grab a rubber hammer like this one right here, and you're gonna to wanna to tap on these valve springs. You could tap as hard as you want. Um, I'm obviously not tapping that hard because I already got them freed and everything, and this table's not very secure. <laughs> or um, it just vibrates when I tap, so I don't wanna have anything break or anything. But yeah, so once you got that and you keep working it in and tap it and stuff like that, um, they're going to want to open and they actually will open. So have a finger on the valve spring, flip it over and find a good way where you could look at it and press it at the same time. And you're going to see this valve open. I'm going to see if I could show you guys. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to have one open see that and all i'm putting on is two thumbs it's definitely hard but like it's gonna be very hard the first time but once you work them in they're gonna want to come up pretty easy so that's perfect these are no longer seized so yeah and that's pretty much it to get your valves um unseized or unstuck pretty simple process and something you should definitely do if you pick up um, a bike that's one not running or that's in boxes like this head was in a box because I bought a bike that was completely torn apart and in pieces so that's definitely a thing you want to check before installing this because it will not start with seized valves so keep that in mind and uh, always check it if you if you have it off always check this it's very important so this head is actually off a 2003 honda xr 100 i just picked it up and it was in uh, pieces so like i said that's why these valves wanted to seize because one the engine wasn't running in like forever and two this was exposed to the air and outside and it was in like a storage container so when it's outside like that it's it's just gonna be natural for metal pieces or something like this to rust so yeah that's how you free valves on a head or a four-stroke engine of any kind and that's gonna be it for this video so and if you guys found this helpful definitely drop a like and um comment or whatever you guys want to do and uh i'll keep you guys updated on new videos and stuff like that so peace out